Uh, I've had a lot of questions from uh, everybody, um, sometimes asking about what's the difference between flow series and RGB or RGBW. So today I'm going to go through the differences and how you can tell. Uh, first off, RGB pretty much means red, green, blue. Those are your three primary colors that are used in a strip or a halo and then they can be mixed together to make numerous numbers of other solid colors. But that's pretty much all you're going to get is solid colors. RGBW is just additional white. It's going to have that solid white, pure white. Um, with RGB, you're going to mix all those colors together to get a kind of off-white. It won't be pure. So if you're looking for a pure white along with various other colors, RGBW is going to be the way to go. Uh, this is a RGBW strip here, so that's going to be the only difference between the two. This will have a pure white as opposed to the RGB strip uh, would only have uh, an off-white. Uh, this is going to be our flow series strip here. Now when I say flow series, um, some of you may have heard it as flow series, as neoprism, neopixel, uh, starry night. Um, they're all pretty much the same thing. They use all the same type of uh, WS uh, LEDs, 2812 I believe they are. Some There's different variations of the LED, but they pretty much all consist of the same uh, it's the same thing and uh, same functions. So here we have a, uh, a flow series uh, LED that I have that I get from one of my uh, wholesalers, and it's uh, they're able to be cut every LED, which I like using them for uh, for a bunch of different products where I'm trying to make custom boards and and whatnot. But all right, let's uh, turn these on so I can show you the difference between the two. First, we're going to start off with the RGBW strip. So this is the pure white function. Uh, these strips are a little bit on the cheaper side. Uh, there's much better versions of it, but I just had these lying around, wider them up real quick. Um, so there's your white. Like I said, you can you have your, your R for red, G for green, and B for blue. Now like I said, this is the RGBW, so then you have your pure white. But then you have, on this, I use a Bluetooth app, you have any of these and go around the wheel and you know create any other colors like teals, pinks, purples, yellows, you know shades and mixtures of all three of the primary colors to create other colors. And for for the flow series, I also use Bluetooth. As you can see, between these two, which they're distinctly different LED types, uh, flow series is a, quite a bit brighter. This is going to be your pure white on the flow series. Um, I wouldn't say pure. Uh, for these it's kind of more of like an RGB type deal where uh, it's a mixture. They look white when you first look at them and then when the more your eyes adjust it seems to have more of like a bluish tint to it. Um, but it's pretty white. They're pretty nice. Then you have your solid colors as well just like the RGB or RGBW and also have your color wheel where you can choose any colors in between, your teals, your yellows, any of that good stuff. So right now, functionality wise, they're pretty identical. Besides, you know, uh, brightness and, and such right now, obviously uniformity, there's more, just more LEDs on this strip as well, so that's gonna be different. But now this is where the Flow Series really shines. Um, it has 200 plus different modes. Uh, right now, I'll just throw it on um, auto, and you'll get to see what I'm saying with this. So this is the difference between Flow Series and normal RGB, RGBW strips. It will just cycle through all these modes, Let's speed it up a little bit, and there's, I believe it's 200 plus, or it's just, there's tons of them. It ranges from this type of like rainbow style to uh, just flowing across with solid colors. Let me hit some of those so you can see the difference. See like this type of thing. There's just there's so many. You just have so many different options. You know you have solid colors running across. So you get more like 
functionality and like there's just way more to it than just the RGB or the RGBW because you still have the same functions as the RGB and RGBW plus all of these different modes where you can have your LEDs chasing each other you know you can have the the rainbow style mode if you like it uh, and there's tons of these I mean I, I can't show you them all this video will be way too long to show you everything but these are the differences uh, you can clearly see once it's right in front of you you know what RGB RGBW is and flow series these specifically are flow series I use lighting trends for all of my uh, NeoPrism NeoPixel flow series type LEDs or the WS I believe WS 28 20, 2012 um, style LEDs that's just a company that I use or a company out there that have similar products um, and they all pretty much do the same thing so for any of you that were wondering now you know flow series RGB RGBW thanks for watching everybody see you next time